So let's have the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. The most important one. And we do have the waiting game. This is two of wands, right? Crossroads. Um, and we know what crossroads mean. Mean a decision. Um, choosing a path, a new one. Making a choice of some sort between two people, between two destinies, two paths. Um, you name it. So let's see. And for some of you, it's the waiting game, right? Waiting for someone to come back. So past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Bottom of the deck, three of swords, I know, right? That's what we are waiting for someone who hurt us. I wonder why, Gemini, do you know why? And... Um, uh, the Magician, Awareness, Awareness and Wisdom, right? Awareness and Wisdom, one is the energy of commitment, one is the energy of the Magician. Magician and Three of Swords is a trickster, um, is the energy of someone who was dishonest, hurt us uh, by playing all kinds of games. Um, and um, maybe they uh, make you wait and actually you shouldn't, you know? Um, and Awareness and Wisdom. It's uh, lessons and pieces of advice, the major arcana. So I kind of feel, Gemini, this reading is a moment of truth um, for you. Um, the overall energy, at least. It's kind of like a revelation of saying somebody, you know, played us. And, uh, and now we find ourselves really uh, in need to use our wisdom and knowledge and information. And the Hierophant is also about counseling and um you know, aid in of some sort, and um, yeah. So let's see what happened in the past. We do have the Moon, Pisces energy, the Eight of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Um, I, <laughs> it's interesting, right? Because Eight of Wands is um, a quick shift in movement, and Six of Swords is slowly uh, walking away from a situation that was very emotional. Uh, the moon, uh, it's a lot of shadows, a lot of um, emotions, a lot of um, darkness. Um, it's depression and anxiety over a connection, over a relationship, a person that we once been, we have been very committed to and very passionate about. And, um, and we have the energy of moving on, so I kind of feel that we had to, right? And this person was hell determined to put an end to it. We do have the death of Scorpio energy and we have the chariot. One is energy of transformation and endings. And the other one is the energy of breaking free, having new plans. Um, is the energy of, um, you know, moving forward um, um, into their uh, second step or next step of their life. Right? Um... Energy between the two of you, the Ace of Cups and uh, and the Star, and I kind of feel that one rushed into a new beginning, and while the other one was hoping and waiting to come back. And I kind of feel Gemini. I we know what this is all about. Um, one had a love begins moment, right? Um, and they might have ended and walked away to start something new with somebody. Somebody can be an Aquarius. And for some of you, that Aquarius stand between the two of you. But there is no doubt that was an abrupt ending, a rushed ending. The chariot is breaking all chains and all commitment and all uh, responsibilities and, um, and transforming into a new being, into a new love, probably. It's a strong energy. Well, probably you uh, um, stayed hopeful. So where are we right now, um, Gemini? We, uh, it's a beautiful energy, two major arcana. We have the uh, the temperance, uh, patience, and we have the judgment, truth. And it feels like an awakening. Uh, when I look at the magician, the energy of awakening, of uh, awareness and manifestation, the temperance, patience, and the judgment is second chances at life. Uh, this is a rebirth energy, and I kind of feel that you are very patient about. You are still waiting. That it's a very strong energy, Gemini, of you waiting for this person, manifesting, staying in the pain, and the universe is throwing at you such beautiful energies, awareness and wisdom. You have this. You got this, right? 
um, and the awareness is, um, you know, the understanding, um, taking the time. We also have patience, right? Um, to be aware of the truth. You know, there's a strong message for someone. Be aware of the truth. Use your wisdom to realize the truth that concerns this person, your person, um, yourself. Um, the judgment is the higher truth. This is this is the new path, right? Um, with respect to what we um, we had. Now, this person of yours, they do have the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, deception, envy, financial and material changes. Um, this is being dishonest about the uh, rejection, Gemini. Uh, by excellence, Seven of Swords is lying to you, is not telling the truth about the reasons why. Um, and it might have some connection for some of you with whatever material changes happen, but in all honesty, it's uh, by excellence, the energy of rejection. Um, and it, it has this energy of somebody disappearing, right? Um, going like dark and we don't know anything about like a completely silent treatment in the most dishonest way. And between the two of you um, stands a new passion. Two of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Um, I, I, I do feel, and probably this is uh, Gemini also your energy because you still love this person, you are still passionate, but between the two of you stands a new love that somebody, someone has. Um, and again, very sexual in nature, but also a beautiful emotional bond. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Somebody awakened to love, I guess, um, or uh, simply genuinely might have... Um, uh, you know, uh, fell in love with someone and that's what stands between you and your person. And they are dishonest about it. They are dishonest, they are lying, and um, and it happened in the past. So it's been a while now um, that they had this. And, um, and the universe is uh, kind of asking you to be aware of the truth, to use wisdom, uh, to, <laughs> to, to use wisdom when it comes to this. And to be patient. Temperance is the energy of compromise. I don't feel you are guided to compromise, but I strongly feel that you have to be aware of the truth. Kind of like the universe pleading you to understand that this is what's going on. We need to move on, right? We have the Six of Swords in the past. <clears throat> the energy of moving on, Two of Wands. Um, you know, uh, choosing a path. So let's see the outcome. Oh, I love this even more. We take control over the whole situation. We do have the Emperor. Um, it's the energy of getting organized. It's the energy of um, getting yourself a plan and sticking to it. This is um, step by step. This is method. And the main purpose is emotional withdrawal. So I don't know who this um, uh, reading pertains to, but the universe is pleading actually. To be aware of the truth, to be patient, to be wise and take control over this emotional disconnection. You need this in order to have the rebirth that is happening right now. Mm -hmm. it, has, it has a purpose. Um, the possible outcome for them. We do have the lovers and we have the five of wands. Of course, they have obstacles in love, um, but there is no doubt they, they might be in a connection there and obstacle and challenges um that is a lot of uh, they struggle they struggle and they go through big changes for this love whatever they've started five of wands five of pentacles and death that's a lot of um you know um struggles i don't think that the love that they uh, embarked upon is um um is going like is flowing but still right somebody uh, started something new gemini it's a revelation. Be aware of the truth. Uh, mutual energies coming your way or the outcome. We have triumphant success and spiritual strength. So if that is one energy, beautiful energy is one of spiritual strength by accepting the truth. Ace of Swords. And I know uh, for some of you, truth is uh, closure and liberation. I, um, I get this. But I kind of feel that that closure, that understanding, that new vision, that triumphant success over this connection goes through spiritual strength. Kind of like um, if that is something you need to be aware of, it will come from within. You know, don't expect uh, cheaters, liars uh, to be honest about, you know. It's kind of like asking something that they don't have, you know, so... 
Um, I'm just saying, I don't. Um, it, it, right? It is be aware, awareness, wisdom, and truth. Right? It's within you, the truth. You know it. You know, you don't need my reading, actually. You know that this is true. And somebody, in a very dishonest way, actually, uh, started something and, and walked away. So let's ask for some guidance. And we do have the silver waterfall. This is about being transparent. Let the things flow. Um, you know, this is uh, self-protection. This is hiding behind, um, you know, a silver waterfall. And we do have maturity. Again, wisdom and maturity. Um, kind of like the universe saying, you went through a lot and you know what this is. You know, you just have to listen to the voice inside of you. And of course, in all transparency, kind of like don't lie to yourself. You know this. You know, the maturity is knowing, is wisdom, um, is placing the things at the right place. We do have resolving conflict. So if you have like, um, you know, things you need to um, kind of um, split with this person, share with this person, if there is, um, you know, some uh, pending conflict, you are guided to uh, end this energy and start a new one. And we have resolving conflict through forgiveness, right? We don't need to act on something in a... Um, in a different way than you do right now but is resolving conflict through forgiveness that you give them without really talking to them and we have I love you these are powerful words that is a confirmation right um, in some way now let's look into the um, that is a confirmation right you love them so because you love them um, you know, um, we can put energies back into the flow through forgiveness and resolving conflict, maturity and uh, transparency and self-protection. So Gemini, let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow and we do have responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express, right? So this is affirmations. I am aware of the power of my thoughts and the amount of love I express and self-protection, silver waterfall. We do have honesty, maturity and honesty. It's interesting, the whole reading is about being honest to yourself um, that this is over. We emotionally disconnect and we take charge of our future. So I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Um, and you have silver waterfall, transparency and truth. And now we have honesty, right? So I feel that that is something you need to accept more than be honest. It's mainly about accepting empathy. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. So we are um, guided to resolve conflict through empathy and forgiveness. Releasing pride. I love myself and I see myself in um, everyone. So for some of you, that is a message there. Maybe because, um, you know, our pride was baffled in some way. Maybe this is why we cannot emotionally withdraw. And um, and the energy is, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. They are just like everyone else. Um, we, are, we all have flaws and we are all imperfect on a path, right? And bottom of the deck, surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. So Gemini, this is pretty much over. And we need to be aware of this truth, right? Awareness, wisdom, and truth. So guys, this is all that I have for you. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.